Shout out Sniper T on the beat. Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise with life on the forefront of the mind. So line for line, you can ride this brain train and you can change your station without even touching the dial. So relax, stay a little bit, but listen for a while. And whether you're bumping this in the whip or in a business fit, it's a meeting you won't want to miss. A meeting for a meal to feed the soul with words for the mind. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Time to take off, it's time to fly. Cause Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise. Hey, 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 y'all. It's me, Tamara. <laughs> Yes, studio audience, you always make it do what it do, what it do, bay, B. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to the show. To all my new listeners, new episodes drop every Thursday. I usually talk about my life, my interests, and the ways I'm trying to grow. So come on back through, you feel me? And for all my day one, two, 93, 154, whatever week you came in and continue to support, I so appreciate y'all. If y'all are watching on the YouTube channels, you feel me, I'm trying something different with the lighting and for whatever reason, I'm really feeling it. Now, let's see if I remember to do this every other episode. Let's see if I will be able to do this every other episode because part of this is I turn the light off like the overhead lights and I'm just using the other lights, you know what I'm saying? But It's also a certain time of day right now, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know, but I'm just really feeling it, so we'll see if I keep doing this. But (laughs) thank y'all for tuning in. You know, it's so just dope because... At the time of this recording. Yeah, shout out. Tomorrow, June... I mean, not June. (laughs) July 29th is Tamara the Dawn Inc. So that's my company, if you don't know. That is my two-year birthday for Tamara the Dawn Inc. Yes, yes. So that definitely has me like super reflective. Also, um, at the time of this recording. Yes, today I went to College of Hair Design, shout out to them, led my, led, well, I guess, yeah, but taught my Build-A-Biz workshop curriculum to another session of barbers. So just shout out to them, continuing to bring me back every session. It's easily one of my favorite things to do just because it's just, I even like when I go back and I see barbers that are still in school that were in a previous session or whatever. It's like just so cool to just go there, like travel for business, you feel me? Now, mind you, I'm traveling to Lincoln from Omaha, but I don't care. I don't live in Lincoln, so I'm out here traveling. I am statewide, you feel me, (laughs) traveling for business to go teach this curriculum that I created. And it, or I should say, well, yeah, but lead this workshop. But it's so dope and it's such a cool experience. But I just always love the energy of the students and I love the perspective that they offer because I don't come in like I'm not no business guru you know what I'm saying what I can help you do though is establish a solid foundation for your company also give you some encouragement some tips on things you need to do like make sure you have good self-care don't compare yourself to others because what's for you is for you so like those almost like mindset hacks that you need to really just be able to keep going so I I got you on that I'm not gonna say I know even everything about everything but hey I put it together teach you what you don't know, tell it to you plainly, because if I just come in here using all these business terms and you don't know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about, how are you going to learn? You feel me? So shout out to College of Hair Design. They keep bringing me back. I love it. Was there earlier. And then, like I said, tomorrow is Tamara the Don Inc.'s two-year birthday, anniversary, whatever. I like to say birthday, you know what I'm saying? Because I have birthed a business, you feel me? And so I like to say birthday. But yeah, um, also coming up, I'm going to be a part of this workshop called, oh, that's terrible. It's I'm Shout out to Women of Wisdom that are having me be a part of their, I think it's Crowned in Confidence. 
workshop. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but I'm going to be doing some spoken word and also I'll be the business highlights. I'll be talking about my business. Yes, but you know me or if you do or you don't, you should if you're a regular listener. I can't like not encourage people in some sort of way. So yes, I'm going to be talking about my business, what I do, but I'm also going to be encouraging them as they're working towards whatever goal it is they have. You know what I'm saying? So super excited for just the timing of these things, just because they're happening around like Tamara the Dawn Inc.'s birthday. And so I'm just reflecting, of course, on like how things were two years ago when the company launched. Then September 21st will be two years from when I left my nine to five. And my goal is to not go back to a nine to five. So whatever ways I need to pivot, whatever contracts I need to get to ensure that that happens, that's really what I'm trying to be on because I love the freedom of owning my time and determining when I do what. And I just cannot fathom giving any company 45 hours out of my week. Like that just, and I lived that way for years. So y'all know I'm new to this whole entrepreneurial journey. It's only been two years. Like in the grand scheme of things, that's not a long time, but I just can't fathom going back to giving anybody 45 hours of my time. So it's super dope just to still be here to be at a place where I'm able to sustain myself, pay my bills and all that good stuff. Because those of y'all who've been on this journey with me know that that's not what it was in the beginning. Your girl was struggling and I pivoted here and there, prayed, but also had to grow and um, step out of my comfort zone in a lot of ways. I was telling somebody just today, speaking in front of people is probably my least favorite thing to do, which sounds funny because I love leading workshops. I love even doing spoken word. I love facilitating like conversations and all that. But there's just something about leading up to that, that there's so much anxiety and there's even anxiety in the beginning. And I have to have like this self-talk while I'm starting and all this stuff. And so that's my least favorite part. But like, once I get past that, you know what I'm saying? I I love it. And I'm always me because it's kind of like my personality, the laughter, whatever is what's going to help keep people engaged. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, super excited just to be at two years with Tamara the Dawn Inc. And also y'all, do you feel me on my Snatch 40s journey? So At the gym that I go to, y'all know I be doing CrossFit or whatever. I just really like telling people that I do CrossFit. But at the gym that I go to, they have this, it's called an in-body machine. And it'll break it down to what your body, uh, what am I trying to say? Like how much lean muscle you have, how much body fat you have, all that, right? And of course, how much you weigh, right? So I've got on it, I think, three times now. So the first time, that's like saying, okay, this is what's going on now. And then the second time I got on it, I had only lost less than a half a pound. It was actually 0.04 ounces, I think, or four ounces. I don't know, but it was not a, not a half a pound. So it was four ounces, we'll just say, but I don't even know if that's right. It wasn't a half a pound. We'll just tell you that, right? However, my muscle mass had gone up and my body fat had gone down, right? So the person that's holding me accountable, she was like, that's still good, da 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 But y'all check me out though. Amidst the struggle, because I told y'all I was struggling with my workouts, I wasn't feeling well, I was going through spiritual battles and whatever, but amidst all that, I really do stay on top of eating good. Why? Because my energy levels are way better than I do. Plus, plus also, excuse me, I have to send this lady pictures of what I'm eating, so it's kind of like... During the struggle, that is when I'm going to fall off. That is when I'm going to stress eat. That is when I was going to do all of that. That's why I had somebody to hold me accountable. That's why I had asked her, you know what I'm saying? Because I know me and I know what I've been doing because if I could have had did it by myself, then I would have already have done it. You know what I'm saying? So when I was struggling, I'm like, I don't feel like this and the other. And it doesn't mean I don't ever eat 
other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like I do from time to time, but it's just not as much as I used to. And so amidst the struggle, right, amidst the not working out like I normally did and or doing home workouts where I'm not pushing myself as hard as I push myself in CrossFit, amidst all that, your girl still was able to drop three pounds. Yes. And here's the thing. I know that it's not always about the scale. Da, 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 da. I get it. It is about how your clothes fit, which my clothes are fitting more so how I want them to fit. You know what I'm saying? So that's in there too. However, when you're on a journey, you do want to see the scale go down. You know what I'm saying? You do want to see the pounds decrease. I don't have a scale in my house. I'm not like I had one in storage. I didn't bring it out. I just felt like, nah, I'll go to the in body machine because that gives me a better, you know, accurate reading of everything that's going on, everything to factor factor in, excuse me. But I'm not going to have no scale up in my house because I ain't even going to lie. When it only went down less than a half a pound the first time, it was discouraging at first until the results results the results were explained to me as far as building up muscle and losing body fat and all that so it's kind of like it can be discouraging not seeing the scale go down and i know so many experts say don't get into it and don't don't that don't let that define you da da da, da. yes i get that but when you're busting your butt and you're trying to get your snatched 40s journey snatching and then it's not giving what it's supposed to give on the scale it can be discouraging so shout out i'm super excited that i'm i'm starting to see progress but also like Going back to CrossFit after kind of slacking off on it, I don't know. I can tell that while it did, yeah, it was it was a it was a struggle. You know what I'm saying? I love that I push myself in the ways that I do, just because I'm either feeding off the energy around me, I'm inspired by the people around me, and or when I feel like I want to give up, somebody's like come on, Tamara, you got this. You know what I'm saying? And it just makes me know I, excuse me. It just makes me feel like I can keep going and all that. So yeah, this has been such a, I don't know. I really like, I'm not even going to lie to y'all for whatever reason. I don't even know why, but I have really just been feeling myself lately. Pause for sure. Pause. But like, just, I don't know my, And it has, I know I just talked about how I lost those three pounds, but that's not even why, because it was prior to that. It could be that consistent working out because consistently working out. Yeah. It could be that that is improving my overall mood because like I am sure to do my workouts in the mornings before my day starts, whatever. But I didn't even work out today because I had to leave too early and, you know, I'm gonna work out tomorrow and I, I don't know. I just, there's just something, this just something that just has me, had me really just feeling really good about myself lately. It could be that all that spiritual battle I went through and the healing that I did, and now I can just live freer. I have just really felt freer. I have just really felt like being unapologetically me, whatever that looks like. If I want to dance, if I want to sing, even though I ain't even got vocals like that, but whatever I want to do, like I have just really been just team Tam lately. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I love that for me because I can't think of a time that I've ever, I'm sorry if y'all could hear Gizmo's little toy in the background. I'd be trying to tell this dude like, Hey, I'm about to record, you know, Everybody else understands that when I'm finna record, you know, chill out. Gizmo don't care about none of that. So I apologize because if you know one thing about me, you should know I'm not finna edit all of that out because this is about my life and the ways I'm trying to grow and Gizmo's a part of my life. So it just is what it is. But other than that, y'all, I don't know. I just, and I love this for me though. I really, really love where I'm at. I love just how good I feel about myself. I pray this continues, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? I really have been 
just really about healing lately. Like whenever I feel like I can't, um, I don't, I don't feel comfortable being me. I have really been assessing, okay, what is trying to hold me back from doing what I want to do? And like, kind of dealing with it so that I can move forward so that I could just be me and do the things that I want to do. And I'm going to be getting into more. I mean, I'm going to be getting into learning more about like photography and videography, like with a real camera instead of using my iPhone. And so I really want to get into like creating, like I offered content creation services for brands before and it was digital graphics and that was fine. But I want to really get into like creating more content just in general, even for my company. Like I keep saying I'm going to bring back content and I will. It's just y'all don't even understand how busy I've been with the subcontracting work that I do. But I actually do have less clients. And so I really do want to start creating more content, even just for me. There's like this video and this idea that I've had that the videos have been recorded for it forever. I just got to do the the voiceover and like edit it together and all the, or edit it together and then do the voiceover. And like, there's just stuff that I've been wanting to do forever that now that I have this like less yeah, less clients or whatever. So a less hectic schedule. Cause it would literally be like, I'd just be go, go, go from here, there and everywhere. Spent a lot of time driving from this place to that place to the other. Then you got to do documentation on everything that I'm doing. And so, you know, now that that's a little bit slower, there are other things that I like for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, you feel me? Want to get into because I miss how much content I used to create, like all the little silly TikToks I used to make. And even the, here's three pieces of advice without context. So just all the different stuff that I used to do, I really, really miss that. So I'm trying to slowly get back into stuff. So I have been like I did, y'all, Tamara the Don Inc. I posted a mink, a mink. I posted a meme that went to, no, actually it wasn't a meme. It was a picture that I took of this thing they had on the toilet in the bathroom at my gym that says, I think dreams don't work if you don't or something like that, unless you do or something like that. I posted that. And what I have been doing to have content go to the Tamara the Don Inc. pages if I post it like to my main IG, I have been inviting Tamara the Dawn Inc. as a collaborator, which has been an easy way to get a little bit of content out there. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, we ain't nowhere near where I was and we probably won't be there because I just I don't know that I have the capacity to do content every day again. We'll see. But I I just don't think that's going to be the goal. And I think I want it to be a little bit different, if I'm honest. And so, you know, but in the meanwhile, I am trying. I have been doing a little something, something to put stuff out there to speak to that audience. Now, it doesn't translate on Twitter like it used to. We'll get there. You know what I'm saying? But Instagram, we 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 doing something. It, it don't even translate to Facebook like that, honestly, because I have been posting it to my personal IG and then inviting Tamara the Don Inc. as a collaborator because that's just an easy way. You know what I'm saying? But hey, something is better than nothing. You feel me? And I'm just, I'm trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it happen. I'm trying to get my schedule together. I feel like I've been doing that forever, but it just is what it is because I kind of needed to take a lot of clients to be able to do what I needed to do. And kind of like when it went from having a full-time job to then not. Now, granted, thank God I didn't have like rent and all that at that time because that was when I was at my mom's house. But still, it's like almost like pulling myself out of this hole or whatever. And then just life be life and unexpected expenses come up, this, that, and the other, whatever, whatever life be life. And, but God still be gotten. That is the thing y'all. So 
I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here because that's really all I wanted to talk to y'all about. So thank you so much for tuning in. As I always say, y'all, this lighting, I hope I could just recreate this every time because I am just, I don't know why, I am just really loving the lighting that is happening right now. I just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just really loving it. But anyways, make sure that you guys are taking care of yourself mentally. Make sure that you guys are taking care of yourself emotionally, spiritually, physically. Be healthy in your relationships. Y'all, if it's hot and humid where y'all are at, like it has been here, make sure y'all stay hydrated. I mean, you need to anyway, but for sure in the humidity, make sure y'all stay hydrated. Let me tell y'all something. It has been so annoying. There have been many, many reasons where I want to get contacts again, because there have been times when I used to be wear contacts or whatever. But one of the reasons, there's two main reasons. One is when I'm at the gym and I'm doing CrossFits, CrossFits, CrossFit, and trying to do that with glasses, <sighs> that's that's just, that ain't it at all. Like, that is not it at all. I always end up taking my glasses off and then I can't see because I cannot see without my glasses, like, at all. I'm not even about to even remotely try to see with my, out my glasses. That is just not a thing. So there's that. But then also, as it's been super humid and I go from in the house to outside, like, even if I'm just taking gizmo out to go to the bathroom – glasses get to fogging up. That is so annoying. So there have been many reasons. Okay, not many. There have been two reasons that I have wanted to get contacts lately. But nevertheless, make sure y'all are staying hydrated was the point. So thank you so much for listening. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. Ladies and gents, this concludes transmission. Tune in next time for a whole new edition, another adventure and mission to share, be heard, and clarify the vision of this whole new world for Tim.